Hello, welcome to this B1 Usability Packets Watch New session. And this is the version 2022.09. This is a minor release, but we have a few nice quality of life features for you to share today. So let's get into them. So the three things is first three new keywords. So these keywords are related to your keyboard in that you can hold down uh, in many different uh, products, shift or control or alt in order to do something additional into what you, you do normally. And uh, these three keywords allow you to do this with uh, usability packets. Uh, I'm showing it here with printer delivery, but it can be used wherever you can use keywords uh, as normal. So it could, for example, be that you want to have uh, the print button uh, up in your, your system uh, on a sales order. And you want to have that if the user hold down shift, something else should happen or control and shift or whatever combination you want. So you have these uh, three keywords uh, and then you can, for example, use conditional actions to suddenly have that it sends out the special email instead of the normal email uh, or whatever uh, comes up. Again, keywords are always, we're throwing them out there and then you can uh, work to them in whatever function you want. You could have, for example, a function button that you, if you hold down control, will actually do something else or a slightly different version. Up to you, uh, again, open-ended as always. The second feature we have is only if you have an extreme amount of data. Uh, our example here is, for example, projects uh, where I have 30,000 projects in this uh, database. And um, we have made a new way of searching using the line search, uh, which we have here, uh, which is also on documents and so on. But if you have a lot of data, and uh, we have defined a lot of data uh, is over 500 lines, uh, you will see a heavy uh, or much needed uh, search improvement. For example, these 30,000, this is an extreme case, but it actually took almost two minutes to loop to every single little, uh, little one of these. Uh, it's because of UI API from SAP that is slow, but we have found another way. Uh, it's not as user-friendly, and that's the reason why we're not turning it down to the very low levels. Um, but in these extreme cases, as you can see here, uh, I went from 120 seconds down to two seconds doing exactly the same search. Um, but you won't really notice unless you have extreme data, else it will just be as fast as it was uh, previously. The final thing I want to share is uh, a little about AR and AP reserve invoices. Uh, they had uh, some problems with mass delivery and that they could be run from there, but you couldn't, uh, but would always use the AI invoice or AP invoice uh, report action. Uh, it wouldn't uh, go into uh, using the specific uh, report action. So you couldn't overwrite the report action because AR reserve invoices and AP reserve invoices are in the same tables as AR normally invoices and, and so on. So for that, uh, now you can do that, uh, so the system will actually pick up uh, the specific report action you put in, or more specifically, the report configuration you put in. So that is uh, the things I wanted to share. As always, uh, the new release uh, is ready in about a week, uh, 6th of September, uh, as of this recording. Preview is out now in sneak preview if you want to go there, else you can download it roughly uh, 6th of September, if everything goes as planned, on our normal download page, download.boymit.com. With that, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.